In Brownsville, retailers are slowly starting to reopen. Channel 5's Rudy Medellis with what shoppers can expect. For three days, the doors at Sunrise Mall have been open, but unlike some other Valley shopping centers, things have been calm. As portions of the mall open back up, some, like the Cinemark Movie Theater and other major retailers, remain committed to stay closed for the time being. With foot traffic still low for the mall, mall spokesperson Stacy Keating expects that to change. I think it'll be a gradual ramp up as more retailers begin to reopen over the next several days and weeks. Okay. We understand that people probably have some concerns with coming back to a public space like this, and so we just want to make sure that we're taking the necessary steps to keep the community healthy and then making sure that that information is shared with our customers so that they feel comfortable coming back. Keating says that while the mall has security to ensure no gathering of more than 10 people in open areas and comply with the 25% occupancy orders from the governor, Retail shops will be left to enforce the requirements on their own. Masks will be required for mall staff and employees, but once again, retailers will be left to decide that individually. The only way we could enforce it is if it was required by the governor. We could require them to wear that as well, but it is at their discretion. Keating added that the mall is recommending and encouraging retailers to not only require their employees to wear masks, but provide them as well. So far, only three of the 79 major retailers and two of the 16 restaurants have announced their reopening according to the mall's website, about 5% of shops. Keating says those interested in visiting should call ahead to find out what's open. In Brownsville, Rudy Midales, Channel 5 News at 6.